Hi, this is Mark Dudley. This is my uh, video submission for AEP 855 Module 4 uh, when dealing with the Kansas Education System Accreditation. Um, currently, again, I'm at White Knoll High School. We are a uh, 5A high school in South Carolina. Um, our accreditation process is a little different, um, but when I'm reviewing the four R's, I was pretty hard on our school, um, and I, I'm, I was that way um, with the standpoint of we uh, are in our second, uh, and I think our third year of having a new principal. Um, he brought in, <clears throat> he has implemented a lot of changes uh, for the better, um, and we're really, as a school, uh, kind of in our second year of kind of understanding what our mission is, what our goals are. Um, and really trying to get those processes down to get the goals that we uh, want. So overall, um, I judged our school um, at the process of implementing to transition pretty much on all of these. Uh, we have made some headway, but again, we're only in the early stages of uh, making some of these changes that would align with uh, the four R's. As far as our principal's leadership style, uh, like I said, this is his third year of <clears throat> being the principal at our school. He is very much a democratic uh, leader. Um, I've had the opportunity to work closely with him in our leadership academy. He leads that. He talks us through uh, the process of becoming an AP, how he makes decisions. Um, he very, very much openly talks about how his APs very much have a voice. Uh, he talks with them. They meet often. Um, he does not handle um, issues on his own. He very much, um, <clears throat> you know, listens to everyone, gets their opinion. Um, one of the things I've been impressed with um, is he very much supports and fights for his staff that they're or issues or complaints, um, he backs his staff um, because he has a lot of confidence in them. And like I said, he's new to the school, changing a lot of process, and he's very been very patient and very steady, uh, very even keel, um, but he is uh, pushing uh, the envelope when it comes to these changes. Uh, he's just been doing it at a very steady uh, and respectful pace. Uh, two areas of improvement that we talked about, and these are things that we are making changes for, not only in our school, but in our district. Uh, the, one of the biggest ones was support for educators in three plus years. Um, currently in South Carolina, you go through a mentor process uh, your first and second year uh, to get that initial certification. Uh, but kind of after that, you're kind of left out to dry. Um, you get uh, reevaluated um, for your for your certificate every five years so from from year two to year uh, seven um, there's not a whole lot of um, mentorship and growth opportunities during that time and teachers are kind of being left out in the cold so we need to do that and then the second is using data to drive our instruction uh, we have so many data points what are we really looking at um, our school is moving to more of a personalized learning so how do we <clears throat> what's the data that we need to look at um, and then how are we measuring that um, and then a couple of things is just allow like-minded teachers uh, PL, we call them PLCs but they're professional learning community those are teachers that work in your department that teach your subject how do we get them together more often so that they can collect and measure, measure this data and then the standards uh, that I used um, to support what we're doing at school um, with standard 6C, 4G, uh, and 10B, and they very much mirror what we are trying to do at the school. Um, again, trying to get staff more professional knowledge, practice differentiative opportunities, um, data assessment, and then continuous improvement for the school. Um, and one of the things that Mr. Daughtry has really done is he's kind of narrowed our uh, mission statement down a good bit and really promoting that through the school. So I think standard 10B um, really speaks to uh, what we're trying to do at the school. And again, South Carolina is a little bit different. Um, you know, for the accreditation for schools, um, it pretty much has to do with, uh, you know, making sure you have certified teachers, all of the other kind of the R's, the relevance and all that kind of stuff kind of goes through the, goes through, uh, the districts and the individual schools.